Azaleas and rhododendrons have commanded a prominent place in the landscape for Northeast Ohio for many years. Their brilliant blooms add interest and pizzazz to spring gardens, but as beautiful as they may be, if not planted properly, they can become a source of headache and disappointment for gardeners. Hello, my name is Amy from Dayton Nursery in Northeast Ohio, and we have been propagating and growing these types of plants for over 40 years. Our expert tips will assure you success in planting these specific ericaceous plants, which include rhododendrons, azaleas, pieris, mountain laurel, blueberries, and canthus and leucothaway. Please keep in mind these tips are specific to Northeast Ohio gardeners. Rhododendrons and azaleas usually thrive on either the north or east side of a house. If planting on the north side, place the plant three to four feet away from the foundation so they will receive adequate sunlight. Planting three to four feet away from the foundation is a good rule for any planting spot to avoid damage from sun reflecting off bright or light colored siding. Planting under generous house overhangs, shallow invasive tree roots, a dense tree canopy or in a spot with drying winter winds can spell disaster for this group. Dig a hole at least three times larger than the root ball and about one and a half times as deep. Be sure to discard any hard and compacted clay soil. Mix pre-moistened sphagnum peat moss with topsoil at a one-to-one -one ratio. Fill the hole with the planting mix, tamping lightly to prevent settling so that the hole is two-thirds full. This is the time to check for proper planting depth. For bald and burlap plants, it is recommended to soak their root ball in a tub of water for about an hour, and then allow it to drain for an additional hour. Remove the burlap or pot from the plant, then with a sharp knife, vertically slice the root ball a dozen times about an inch deep along the sides and bottom. Expose one inch of the root ends by spraying the root ball with a forceful stream of water. We call this a root wash. Do not spray the top of the root ball. For more detailed information on a root wash, please see our Why Root Wash video linked below. Place the plant in the hole and cover with the prepared planting mix. Lightly tamp the loose soil with your foot, being careful not to damage the root ball. In heavy clay soils, which is so prominent here in Northeast Ohio, the root ball must be elevated at least one half above the original soil level with the planting mix mounded around it or it will not drain properly. Apply Hollytone at the rate of one half cup per foot of branch spread at planting time. Do not apply fertilizer between June 1st and October 1st. Then apply about a two inch layer of mulch and water thoroughly until the soil is soaked. Do not use water that has been run through a water softener. Then water the plants every three days for the first 30 days until the soil around the plant is well soaked. Do not depend on rainfall to water your plants unless one inch of rain falls within a 24 hour period. After 30 days, water only when necessary. Even though rhododendrons and azaleas respond well to trimming, there are rules to follow. For more information on pruning and care of established plants, including insect control, see our Care of Azaleas video link below. You must choose the right location, preferably on the north or east side of your home. You must add peat moss at planting time to help break up heavy clay soil. You must plant high to provide adequate drainage. You must water in well at planting time and then again every three days for the first 30 days after planting. Well, that's about it. With proper planting techniques, rhododendrons and azaleas can provide you with colorful blooms and seasonal interest in your landscape. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about rhododendrons, azaleas, or their relatives, feel free to contact us or visit our website linked below in the description. Happy planting!